Hi, I am Lopa Mudrashen. Welcome back to my channel, Electronic Science Tutorial. I will start a new lecture series on NTA UGC NET and West Bengal SET exam for Electronic Science subject. Those who are not follow my channel, please follow my channel. If you like my channel, then please like, share and subscribe my channel. So, let's start our class. Welcome back to my channel with a new lecture series on semiconductor device PN diode that is diode resistance. It is very much important topic for you guys those who are trying to crack NTA UGC NET exam for electronic science and it is also very important topic for West Bengal SET exam. In unit 1 of the electronic science syllabus this topic is placed in previous class, I already talked about the various topic of semiconductor device and PN diode. Those who are not check out my channel, please follow and do like, share and subscribe my channel. So, let's start our class. So, what is DC or static resistance of a PN diode? How this DC or static resistance can be calculated from the PN diode graph. We already talked about this graph. So, this is the volt ampere characteristic curve of PN diode. Right? So, this side is forward voltage side and this side is reverse voltage side. This side is current. So, this is the forward region current and this is the reverse region current. Okay. So, if we consider this point. So, this is the parallel line of current and this is the, this line is the parallel line of voltage. So, here we get current and voltage from the graph. This side is parallel with the current and this side is parallel with the voltage. So, for this point within this graph, we get the voltage and current, right? So, the DC or the static resistance is the ratio between the voltage across the junction and the current flowing through the junction is called the static or the DC resistance which is denoted by RDC and that is RDC or RD that is equal to VD divided by ID. VD is the voltage across the junction and ID is the current flowing through the junction and this ratio is called DC or static resistance. Okay. We all know Ohm's law as Ohm's law is not valid for the PN junction because in this region, in the forward bias region, we saw the uh, exponential curve, right? So, the Ohm's law is not valid for the PN junction. RDC is also or RD value or the DC resistance or the static resistance RD value is also not constant but varies with the applied voltage Vd. So, DC or static resistance is the ratio between the applied voltage Vd and the current flowing through the junction Id. This is defined by Rd and also it is defined by Rdc. Okay? So, this Rd is not a constant value. It varies with the applied voltage Vd. So, this is the DC or static resistance of a PN diode which we can calculate from the VI characteristic of a PN diode curve. Okay. Next, in this slide, we talk about AC or dynamic resistance of PN diode. Okay. Again, we can consider the volt ampere characteristic curve of PN diode 
this side is forward region side and this side is reverse region side and this graph is already we know about this graph right so how we can calculate ac or dynamic resistance of a pn diode from this graph so if a straight line drawn tangent to the curve through the point which i will consider that is if i consider this point so this this is one triangle region right so a straight line drawn tangent to the curve through the point to this point to this point a tangent straight line is drawn and for a particular change in voltage and current that can be used to determine the ac or dynamic resistance for this region of the diode characteristics okay so if we make the voltage and the current as small as possible the ac or dynamic resistance value is smaller right so what is the ac or dynamic resistance and how it is calculate this side is first of all this side is parallel to the current and this side is parallel to the voltage so if we consider this is del v side and this is del i side then sorry del i side then the ratio between the voltage and current del v by del i if we calculate this value we get the ac or dynamic resistance of a pn diode from the graph okay so we know the vi equation characteristics uh, equation or the shockley equation of the pn diode that is id equal to is e to the power vd divided by eta vt minus 1 id is the diode current is is the reverse saturation current vd is the applied voltage vt is the vt voltage is dependent on on the boltzmann constant and the absolute temperature and eta is the dimensionless number eta equal to 1 if the semiconductor is semiconductor material is if the semiconductor material is silicon then eta equal to 2 and if the semiconductor material is germanium then eta equal to 1 right so this is the overall equation of the vi equation if we taking the derivative with respect to the applied bias voltage what we get we get d divided by dvd equal to is e to the power vd divided by eta vt minus 1 okay and dvd uh, and did by dvd we get 1 by eta vt id plus is id is the diode current and is is the reverse saturation current so in general we can consider that the diode current is very large than reverse saturation current that means the forward region current is very large than the reverse region current so we can easily neglect the reverse saturation current that is is so what we get we get did divided by dvd nearly equal to id divided by eta vt okay so the reciprocal of the dvd uh, did by dvd that means dvd by did equal to rd small r small d that is equal to eta vt divided by id we get the inverse slope here we consider the inverse slope that means vt is 26 millivolt we get already know what is uh, the value of vt 
Vt value is dependent on the Boltzmann constant and the absolute temperature, absolute room temperature. And eta is 1 for germanium material and eta equal to 2 for silicon material. Right. So, this is the Rd. Rd equal to 26 milli volt divided by diode current across the junction. So, in this way we can also calculate AC or dynamic resistance of a PN diode. And the another expression is RAC equal to del V divided by del I. Okay. In this way from the graph we can by this expression from the graph we can calculate the AC or dynamic resistance and mathematically we can calculate the AC or the dynamic resistance of a diode in this way. Okay. So, this is the two way system how we can calculate of a AC or dynamic resistance of a PN diode. Okay. I hope you understand this topic. Here we end today's session. Thank you. With this, we have come to the end of this session. I hope you like this video. Thank you friends. If you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. फिर मिलते हैं एक नई वीडियो के साथ. Thank you.